हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दीडियो ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम एंड पॉपुलेशन एंड टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे इज कॉम्पिटिशन इन विच यू विल स्टडी वॉट इज कॉम्पिटेटिव रिलीज वॉट इज गॉस कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रिंसिपल एंड रिसोर्स पार्टिशनिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट so what is competition competition is a process in which fitness of one species is significantly reduced in presence of another species so process in which fitness of one species is significantly reduced in presence of another species is called competition now competition can occur between related species so competition occur between related species but competition can also occur between unrelated species so let us look at the example when competition occur between unrelated species for example for example flamingo and fish they are two unrelated species but they compete for same resource that is zooplankton so the fish and flamingo are two unrelated species but they compete for the same resource that is zooplankton now let us look at what is gauss competitive exclusion principle now gauss competitive exclusion principle states that two closely related species competing for the same resource cannot coexist and competitively inferior one will be eliminated so if two closely related species are competing for the same resource then they cannot coexist and competitively inferior species would be eliminated this is called gauss competitive exclusion principle now let us understand this principle with an example in galapagos island there was albingdon tortoise and goat they both were dependent on same resource that was grass now the grass eating capacity of goat was more as compared to tortoise that is goat ate grass more quickly than tortoise which means that goat was competitively more superior as compared to tortoise so as a result tortoise became extinct from the galapagos island or we can say that tortoise were eliminated from galapagos island because they could not get enough grass because of presence of goat so we can say that competitively superior goat eliminated competitively inferior tortoise which were feeding on same resource that is grass which is gauss exclusion principle now let us understand what is resource partitioning if two species compete for the same resource they could avoid competition by choosing different time for feeding or different foraging pattern so if two species compete for the same resource they could avoid competition by choosing different time of feeding or different foraging pattern foraging means search for food now let us understand resource partitioning with an example different type of warblers feed on same conifer tree warblers are kind of birds so different type of warblers they feed on same conifer tree they avoid competition by feeding on different part of the same tree for example 
केप में वॉबलर फीड ऑन द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द ट्री they breasted warbler feed on the middle part of the tree yellow rumped warbler feed on the lower part of the tree as they feed on different part of the same tree they avoid competition between them as a result warblers coexist and avoid competition this is called resource partitioning this phenomena of feeding of warblers was discovered by mac arthur now let us understand what is competitive release competitive release is a phenomena in which species whose distribution is restricted to small geographical area because of presence of competitively superior species is found to expand drastically when competitively superior species is removed so a species whose distribution is restricted to small geographical area because of presence of competitively superior species is found to expand drastically when competitive species competitive superior species is removed now let us understand competitive release with help of example competitive release could be understood by connell's elegant field experiment so what was connell's elegant field experiment in connell's experiment he studied two types of barnacles one was balenus that was competitively superior species and other was chithelemus barnacle that was inferior species so he studied two species one was balenus that was competitively superior and found in intertidal zone and other was chithelemus that was competitively inferior species and found in high tide zone now what did connell do he removed balenus from the sea means he removed competitively superior balenus from the sea so what happened that now chithelemus which earlier occupied only high tide zone now also occupied the intertidal zone so on removal of competitively superior balenus chithelemus which the population of chithelemus expanded now it occupied high tide zone also and intertidal zone also but earlier it occupied only high tide zone so when we removed competitively superior balenus the population of chithelemus barnacle expanded this is competitive release so if you have gained something from this video please subscribe now to my channel ramji chopra comment like and share